Whoa. I did it! I, I, I kind of did it. What is this majestic beast? Is this a fancy new raid exotic trace rifle? <laughs> yeah, it is. Divinity is a sweet little gun. It's going to be a must-have in many raid teams, and I... Well, I love it. I don't know how good it's going to be in PvP just yet, but uh, this thing's sick. We used it in the raid. You gotta get it. Now, there's a bunch of guides out there that are going to tell you how. Dado made a guide. Cacus HD is making a guide. I'm not going to make a guide. You guys will figure out how to get this gun. But let's talk about this bad boy really quickly. We've got a perk here, Judgment. Sustained damage with this weapon envelops the target in a field that weakens and disrupts them. Now, this is amazing because it gives them a big old crit spot that you just have to aim in their general direction and you get a crit. This makes it very good on some bosses that have a teeny tiny little crit spot like in the raid. Now, this weaken effect, this allows you to do additional damage to them. And it stacks with other buffs, making this one of the best tools in the raid for debuffing your target and doing additional damage. The penance perk, targets under the effect of judgment long enough are struck with a burst of damage. It's an overall decent amount of damage you'll be able to dish out, but the big bonus here is making it easier for your teammates to do damage if they're using something like Izanagi's Sniper or something like Whisper of the Worm, where they'll be very, very punished if they miss a shot. So Divinity for PvE, especially for raids, can be an incredible tool to have. If you're getting flinched a bunch by enemies, your aim, you know, sometimes it, it misses. And so having this bad boy uh, makes it a lot more forgiving. And, you know, I think it's probably going to be a, a must-have for a lot of the world first raid teams in the future. Now, I'm not gonna do a full guide on how to get this. There's already some really, really well made ones out there. Uh, Datto has one, Cacus HD has one. If you're looking to start the quest, you go to the Lunar Battlegrounds, you go in this cave, there's a bunch of Vex and a Gate Lord that spawns, you kill them to start it. But I highly recommend watching those guides. I'm here today to talk about what this exotic does and why it's so damn good. Let me just show you something quickly. So one Duke shot to the head here is 2,815 damage. When I throw a weakening grenade, I then do 3,659. But what happens when we stack the grenade and this beautiful new trace rifle? That's right, people. The damage stacks once again. He trace rifles, I grenade, I shoot, and I'm now doing 4,573. That is approximately 25% more damage that you can provide for your team, making you invaluable in any sort of raid activity. Now, typically this boss has a pretty small crit spot and he moves away from you, meaning that you're typically sniping this guy in a distance. But he also jukes left and right like an asshole, making you miss shots. Well, see that big blue orb? Now all I have to do is shoot anywhere in there to get a free crit. This is incredible quality of life for you and your raid team. As I said before, you know, if you're using Iznagis, if you're using Whisper of the Worm, this is a beautiful, beautiful buff to your overall damage because no one is going to miss a shot. You're giving them an additional debuff, and this brings a lot of value to your team. Now, you can beat this boss. I mean, we beat this boss on the contest modifier when it was much, much harder and when we didn't have this exotic but it just makes it so much easier. And you can imagine that this would be valuable on pretty much every raid boss in the game. Extra debuff, extra accessibility to crit spots, I can see this being a staple in any raid team's inventory. Heck, you could even use it in something like the new Vex offensive stuff because the crit spot on this guy isn't huge by any means, and any sort of flinch from him or outside enemies could make you miss. Hitting a body shot with the Iznagi or Whisper of the Worm cripples your DPS, so throwing that out of the window as a possibility is really freaking valuable. Now, the other thing too is the more people in your fire team and doing an activity, the better. If you're doing strikes, I don't know if it'll fully be worth it because your DPS isn't going to be amazing while using it. 
It is more of a team game type thing, so I see this being better in Menagerie, uh, Vex Offensive, and the Raids, but you definitely could use it in some of the other activities if you want. Now, let's talk about the PvP. Alright guys, we're flying in. We're testing out the Divinity for the first time in PvP. I don't know what the damage is. I can imagine something like Cold Heart or maybe Wave Splitter would probably be better, but I mean... Let's map some kids with Divinity, right? I mean, wh what else are we going to be here for? We're going to be using the Raid Pulse Rifle because I've fallen in love with it, and I'm hoping that I can get the Kill Clip roll because... Kill Clip Rapid Hit? Are you kidding me? Instant Reloads, Instant Two Taps? Oh, incredible. Now let's get into the old content. I'm ready for it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling amped up. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go triple negative or triple positive. But let's cut ahead to the gameplay. All right, gamers. We're going. We're going. Is there damage fall off on trace rifles? Like, I haven't used a tra trace rifle in... What was... Was there a delay on that damage? Wait, what? Oh, is there... Hold on. Hold on. What? There's something wrong here. It's like there's a delay on the damage. It's like it doesn't... Okay, I'm miss... maybe I'm missing shots. Hold on. I just... Just just hold on one second here. I think I'm... I think I'm missing. Um, Alright, I need to find a target that's just like not moving. Okay, no, we're hitting. We're hitting. Um, I'm not sure about this. You gotta really trace your enemy. You know, you know, you gotta like make draw a dick on the wall there. Um, you're gonna have to stay on target. It's kind of like an auto rifle, but not. Um. Um, I don't know about this one, boys. I think, um, I think there's better guns available. Okay, maybe, maybe he's good. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I'll tell you in about two more fights. I'll know in about two more fights how good it is. When there's not three people pushing me. Ready? This thing tickles! I mean, it, it ticks the damage pretty fast, but I, I, I don't know about this one. Oh, it gets that crit spot. Oh, do you know what? I know what's going on. I know what's going on. You got to stay on target and it does that burst of damage to kill them, maybe? Let me, let me see. Uh Okay. I, I like I I killed that guy pretty fast, but you got to really commit with this thing. Okay? You got to really commit. I don't see this thing being that great. Okay. 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 I don't know why I just do that grenade. There's just so many of them. They're all over me. What am I playing a sweat team? Jesus Christ. Maybe it's because that guy's connection is literally ass. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. 60 shots. I don't know, guys. I don't know about this gun. It's not a PvP gun. Like, how fast can I kill this guy? I gotta test it in, in like a custom. When they're close, it kind of bursts them. Do you know? I think I figured out the issue too. These guys are literally teleporting. Hello? I'm in the connection based matchmaking thing. This is not a good connection, brothers. Please kill him. <gasps> okay, he shotgunned him. It's okay. That wasn't just. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay. Okay. Ah! Whoa. I 
I did it. I I I kind of did it. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Come on. You had to do that to me. Why is there so many Nova Warps in this game? I've never seen this many Nova Warps in one game. There's like 20 of them. You gotta trace them so much. Alright. Any engagement where I was killing things with this... I probably could have just killed them in the same speed with like a hand cannon or a pulse rifle or something. It's not bringing enough to the table in PvP, but this is a PvE weapon. There's no denying how valuable this is as a tool. I mean, you're literally making it a giant crit spot, you're adding an additional debuff to the target, it is a win-win situation. Honestly, I know some people don't like to raid or it's really hard to get people together, but if you can get some people together and get this yourself, even if it's just you, you can bring a lot of value to the raid team. Like, it is such a good tool, um, and I think the effort is worth it. You don't need everyone using this, but if you can find a whole group of six that grind through the quest and then get this all accomplished at the same time, definitely going to be a nice boost to your overall team uh, quality of life. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.